So David, you're an established writer. You've written for years tracking some of these changes in the healthcare system and trying to understand better ways forward. You've published amongst many things you've written this major book, If You Want Good Personal Healthcare, See a Vet, which is an intriguing title enough. And then that breaks down into three other smaller volumes. Um, could you talk us through the three volumes? That might give people a sense of what's in the big book. Yes. Well, first of all, can I just say a word about the big one, the big blue one, uh, which is, if you like, the, the con collected anthology. And it's subtitled Industrialised Humanity, Why and How Should We Care for One Another? And that, in a sense, is the central question. And the reason I called it, if, uh, if you want good personal health care, see a vet, is it's... It sounds jesting, doesn't it? But actually, I'm making a serious point, and that is that um, vets, or at least the vet I visited to watch her, was extremely good at understanding the experience of the animal very, very quickly. Was it scared? Was it hungry? Did it need to establish dominance? Did it need to submit? Sh should she approach it directly? Should she go round to the side of it? Should she speak sharply or should she murmur softly? She got it very, very quickly, this vet. And therefore, she had a kind of an empathic understanding with this creature. Otherwise, she'd get bitten or scratched or trodden on or, or would not be able to do what she wanted to do. And I thought that's very much what we've lost in modern healthcare, where we've attempted to break everything down into endless fragments, really, and not understand the whole. So in a way, the title of the book is also about holism. How do we perceive things as wholes rather than breaking them down into procedural bits? So that's why it's called If You Want Good Personal Healthcare, See a Vet. I, I decided um, to give people the option of either being buying the, the big, rather cumbersome blue book, If You Want Good Personal Health Care, See a Vet, or dividing them into three smaller volumes um, and th the first one which is the earlier writings from 76 until the 1990s is called The Psychoecology of Gladys Parlett um, and the subtitle is Hidden Personal Meaning in Healthcare and this came from my earliest days where I realised that there was a subtext to all consultations that whatever the official diagnosis was, uh, whatever the medical diagnosis was, there was always a hinterland that was often very, very valuable when we decided how to talk, how to be with, how to intervene with people. Hidden personal meaning in healthcare. And the psycho, we don't have to know who Gladys Parlett is because I fictionalised her, but psychoecology is very important because how does this person's experience of their illness or their imagined illness now fit in with their life and their relationships. That's psychoecology. So that's the first one. And then the second one is called From Family to Factory and the subtitle is Lost Personal Meaning in Healthcare. And that From Family to Factory refers to my perception that we have gone from ways of intercollegiality, in other words, how do we re relate to other colleagues and managers and so on, as if we're a family, with trust, with growing understanding, with improvisation, and like with good factories, with goodwill and good heart and good judgment, to which is a family, to a factory situation where everybody does what they're told and all their roles are rigidly prescribed and there are punitive sanctions that are taken out against deviance and then what happens to that? And that's why that's called lost personal meaning in healthcare. And then the final one is called Bureaucratirano Hypoxia. <laughs> and the subtitle of that is The Struggle for Personal Meaning in Healthcare. And these are letters that I have written in the last um, half a dozen years to 
managers, to uh, peer colleagues, to um, directors of services, to politicians, sometimes to newspapers, about what is going wrong in the dislocation of our personal understanding and connection with others, whether they be colleagues or whether they be patients, and the price we are paying for that. And the title, Bureaucrat Tyranno Hypoxia, is, uh, as you may gather, a made-up word. It's a neologism that means bureaucracy, it, it, increasing amounts of regulation and checking and, and, and um, procedure that becomes a tyranny, and hypoxia means we can't breathe. In other words, it's unviable. So it is about our unviable, tyrannical bureaucracy. And that's it.